Hello guys, Ooh. it's currently, what day is it today? Saturday, starting the vlog strong. I'm literally on my way to meet up with Mariette. We have a content day. Ugh. And um, Hafey was kicking my butt. Oh my gosh, when I tell you, I have been struggling today. It's not even a joke, like it's not even funny. It's not funny at all. Um, but yeah, it is well. I am at the station. The thing I hate about my station is that it has no lifts. So I'm here, I'm stuck carrying this big old thing down all these stairs. So annoying. I hate it. I really do. And the worst part is, Londoners are so rude. They'll see a damsel like me, an itsy bitsy girl, and they won't even offer to help. Oh, it's not very Christ-like, is it? Hey guys, I am currently at a cafe. I'm not even meant to be here. I literally just saw this space and I was like, this is such a cute spot for pictures. Let me just sit here real quick. Um, but honestly, I actually should be going to meet up with Mariette. She's like two minutes away from me, like a two minute walk, but I just thought, you know what? Let me just um, get my content. Guys, this is so funny. Hi. <laughs> um, people are literally just walking past. This is the thing about summer in London. People see the sun and they go berserk. It's Emma, baby. It's her. She is here. Look at her. Yes, now I'm good. <laughs> But I don't listen. Our father owns the land. <laughs> I'm not joking. The government is on his shoulder. Yes. Do you know who my father is? I'm sure you can tell me. You want me to tell you? His name is Jehovah. Jaira. El Shaddai. Baby got her new camera. She got her new camera. The social bed, we mean business. It's not a game. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. This is what we do. This now. is what we do. Talk Back. to them. Um, no, I'm not talking to them. Oh, you <laughs> say that again. <laughs> all, of, all of the day. Today when I was coming to see us. <laughs> no, because the voice sounds so good. Guys, don't you agree? Like, doesn't your voice sound so much better? So much more raspy. You know, when you're sick, you know, you lost your voice. It just, it does something. It does something. It does something. I remember when I lost my voice and it was in the process of healing. I low-key wanted it to stop healing because it just sounded so good. What she said. On your phone, one of them. No, 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 no pictures. Okay, just a little vlog. It's one. recording. Hey guys, we are at McLaren and Favor followed us. Listen, this place is supposed to be shut off, but for us, for us, because we're rolling with Big Big M, the social bed, not mm -hmm. the little one. Yes, it was open. Amen. And she opened the doors for us. Yes, that's a 1.2 million car. Yeah, yeah, this is Favor. <laughs> Praise him. <laughs> drank on my tea. I leave her for two seconds and this is what she does. Location 
and the content day is going so well, surprisingly well. I feel like I'm doing weird things on this. Mm. Like, so we have the kitchen, these are, this is matte marble granite, right? Um, super expensive, super exquisite. You would have a great time cooking on top of this, and then the the no hope cooking thingy my bulb. Yeah, it's, it's really doing something. A lot of the houses that we have have this new built-in uh, system. Where we can... Got excited there. <laughs> Sunday is my mum's birthday and I'm literally about to go and pick up her birthday meal. Yeah. Come with me. I am in the Uber and we're on our way to the restaurant. My question is how am I going to carry all of that food and you lot with just these two hands? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I was just talking about you <laughs> to them. To them, just wow. state your name, cuz. Oh, you see, man's name is only one really me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> she's been up to mischievous stuff. What's she been doing? Stuff. What's she been doing? So, what did you do? Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Drum roll. Oh. Have to go pick it Wait, up, where is it? Street. It's at Oxford Street. I have to go pick it up. Oh my gosh, are we getting it today? Yes. Oh my day. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got a camera. <laughs> she's got a camera. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my gosh. I was about to fool you there. That's so wild. She's about to get her. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Tired out of people. Get her, get her big girl patches. Did I just buy my first big boy toy? Yes, you did. What is that? What is that? That is terrible. What my signature? Yes. Thank you. Yes, please. It needs a large bag. Wrap it up. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We <sighs> <laughs> got our camera. Yo, yo. Everything's gonna be on. Everything's gonna be on right now. Everything's gonna be on. A woman no cry. Mm. Oh, yeah, show them what you said you'd be doing on the streets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funniest yes. thing? I have these, yes. not the same ones, but I have roller skates. Yes, no, Esther. I'm no, you're going to be laughing now, but you're going to be saying, oh, really, let's go roller skates. I kid you not. Because hear me out. It wasn't even because of that one time. It was because I went out with um, Eleanor and Remike that time I was telling you. Remike went home. And then Eleanor was like, really, like, I don't have a hobby. And I was like, whoa, I don't have a hobby. I have a life. I actually don't have a hobby. Content creation isn't a hobby anymore. Mm -hmm. It's work. Mm -hmm. So I was saying how, like, well, I do really like exercise. And I was like, well, your hobby's kind of like gym. And she was like, yeah, but like, it's a fun hobby. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, should we spend the summer trying to look to like, actually like love something and to grow? So we went to Selfridges. And then whilst we were there, there was a rink, like there's an actual skating rink in the middle of Selfridges. And the guy was in there and then he was talking about how yeah, he teaches people, he has a story about him saying he telling us that he's been riding the road skate no, a skateboard for about twenty something years now. And he said like it's up to his mental health, this that and the other, like it's genuinely been something where it's been him and like growth. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I really like this, like I really wanna do this. And then yeah, I was like, Okay, cool, let me try roller skating first. 
Let me try. <laughs> hey, little girl. You look good, girl. Um, I don't, yeah. Oh, look at my girl. Rosalini. The sisters. The oh, wow. Boache sisters. Wait, is it filming? Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> no, no, babe. The other one is questions. You might come into more questions that you don't know yet. So, Hi, guys. frequently asked questions will also Where become a thing that you can house? keep doing as well. I I've just, see. what I went today was to get my camera. Zesters, so we weren't necessarily we're camera twins. <laughs> Hi, Renu. What are you up to? Um. <laughs> <laughs> My Can you be serious, please? Um, so, what are you doing here right now? I am helping Lauren with her event planning. Right. Marketing. Yeah. Yeah. What goes into event planning, planning, marketing. Well, you have to think about the client's potential launch day and then pre-launch and then campaigns, which is the running of the launch and then post-launch, all marketing, digital presence, content creation, content curation, content conceptualizing, content creation, that's creating the content, that's using the camera to create it. Content curation, that is, for example, it's a, combination of conceptualizing and content creation except sorry they're arguing in they're the so funny <laughs> and it's so funny because they even blurred it's so funny <laughs> like... that is so funny <laughs> you know some people pray like that <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's not it's not it's not one like one time and i heard it behind me i was like what spirit is <laughs> she said what spirit is that one <laughs> to chow down guys i'm so hungry oh, was i looking at my lips please it's okay somebody has to leave prayer because if it's not too late, i might just dive in <laughs> okay come on guys let's go are you being serious i'm so serious okay. <laughs> i will devour <laughs> Yeah, be quick. She was getting on Torch Nefarious. Oh, no. What's that on? That's wrong though. 
Fairs. But definitely watch it tonight, or maybe. Wait, think about this one. She don't like watching stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, should. It's don't. really good. I don't have to pin me down. I can never get her to watch things with me. She doesn't want to watch it. Why? I'll say it's boring within the past five minutes. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while. It feels like it's been a while, but it probably hasn't been that long, has it? Anywho, it's Thursday. I'm about to go and get my nails done at Ovea London, the one and only. And I'm so excited. I have a couple of styles that I'm thinking of doing, uh, all of which I'm gonna show you. Oh, this is cute. Sorry, not me being on Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, have you seen a girl so fine? This is the first style that I wanna do. Like, I, I think I might just do this one. I'm still gonna show it to you guys and show you guys the rest out of courtesy, but I think I've already made my mind up. Oh my gosh. We have a new subscriber. Welcome. Oh, she's named Esther as well. Welcome, Esther. Welcome. This is the style that I'm gonna go for. Most likely, like, just gorge. Gorge! Sorry, not that. <laughs> I'm considering this but I'm considering it as stilettos because I'm doing stilettos for sure today. That's what I want. All this, but this is a bit boring. <laughs> um, and then I was considering these like just simple Frenchies. You know, when all goes wrong, you can never go wrong. Or this set, like they're like pearls. It's, it's like a milky white and yellow set. I don't know. Let me know which one you think I should do. I am actually really drawn to this though. Like, this is so me. Let's go. The next time you see me, I will be at Alvea, London, okay? Hi. <laughs> Delight is just choosing my style. We are indeed. I'm swaying towards the other one. Really? Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah. Good morning guys, oh, I'm running late, I'm on my way to church, the train's coming in a couple minutes and I'm rushing as per, but it is well, oh, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, oh I pray I don't miss my train, hey guys, so I'm on the train currently, I forgot to even mention that um, I'm going to church but I'm not going to KAC this week, I'm not going to my home church this week, um, just because I'm going to go and visit another church with my friend. I'll say my friend that like you don't really know her. You guys know really. And Ellie Bear. So yeah, we're just gonna um we're just gonna visit another church. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. I'm feeling really summery, you know, you know the vibes, you know how it goes. I hope you can hear me probably. I mean you better hear me probably. This mic ain't cheap. But um yeah, I'm really looking forward to it guys. I'm really looking forward to it. I just, oh, I'm just excited for this new season. I don't, like, I've, I think I've said before, or maybe I said, maybe I've said on another platform, but I just really, sorry, I don't want to compete with these voices. I really like new beginnings. There's something about new beginnings that just excite me. Like, it, it's like, God, what can you possibly do to top yourself in this season? Like, stuff like that just gets me so excited. I am, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Um, I don't know what this space looks like. I literally, somebody asked me how I was, literally I was just responding to a message and I said to them, I'm navigating and I'm figuring out, I'm adjusting, there we go, Holy Spirit. I'm adjusting to what it feels like or what it is to be outside out of uni now, like done with uni. And um, in the brackets, I put, I'm loving it because like I said in my last video, I just feel like life begins now. Like I've been in school, I've been, I've been in the school of education for, for my entire life at this point since I was like, what, four? And now I'm not in that anymore and it's exciting to me. It's so exciting to me because I feel like, because when you think about it, can you even remember what secondary school was like? Not remember, but secondary school was years ago for me now. And so was sixth form. So it's like, what more is there to come? I'm, I'm buzzing. I kid you not, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Guys, I just, I'm so in love right now. It's like, ugh. Delight, she ate. She ate that. Yeah. Ugh. 
very excited, very excited. I can't stop smiling, guys. Get a grip, Esther. I don't know what to do with my hair. I feel like, so I put it up like this because I thought it was cute, but I kind of want it in a ponytail, like in, a, in an all black ponytail. Uh, now I don't know what to do. I brought my headband just in case, because you know when you have braids, you can't use a normal flimsy headband. You have to use, you have to use something like this, like a rope or a ribbon, because nothing is packing this bunch of hair. Um, yeah, I was actually a bit annoyed when I got in the train because I realized, um, so I was meant to meet Renu at a station, right? And um, I left my headphones at home because I thought the journey to the station I'm supposed to be meeting her at isn't too long, which means that um, once I get to that station, I won't have my headphones on because I'll be in conversation with her as you do when you're with a person, right? But um, plans changed, right? And we're just gonna meet at, basically at church, right? Um, which means I have to do the whole journey there and the whole journey back home without headphones. And I really wanted my headphones. But it gave me the opportunity to respond to messages. If you know anything about my reply times, they're not the greatest, okay? I will admit. I'm not proud of it, but I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. Because sometimes the, the thought of responding, like when I look through my messages, I'm going I'm to show you guys what I mean. When I look through my messages, I don't know if you can see that, but just like seeing, where is it, 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 where is it? Where is it? <laughs> seeing all of these blue unread messages, it just gives me a headache and the thought of responding overwhelms me a little bit. But then this is something I was speaking to a friend about, right? Which is why do i like i'm hmm, i need to start engaging in conversations i know i can finish because it's all well and good starting a thing but if i can't finish it what's the point and then i start looking flaky and inconsistent and i hate that because yeah anyway i'm just talking a lot you're talking a lot show me what you got stop swaying i don't dance i know you can not a chance I can do this, but you can do that, but I don't dance. Hit it out of the park. I'm in a funky mood today. I'm just in a great mood. Hey, my son, I don't know. I'm a little funky. Oh, hello. Hello. Are you all right? <laughs> can you actually not see? <laughs> You're actually scary. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Really? I was thinking, is this girl rude? Like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> Wingstop because, well, oh, deviance. Yeah. No, we just like comfortable spots. Food is great. Rinu's busy right now. She's got that do not disturb sign on her. I'm about to chow down. Food is great. Sweet potato fries. Wingstop style. It's phenomenal. Hey guys, it is the end of. A very long day it's literally what time is it right now yeah it's 10 09 10.09 and i'm only just going home only on the train rini has gone home and uh wow wow while wow, my intentions for trying this new church out was never to replace what I already have. I thank God for my obedience because I didn't realize it was a tug. I just thought, oh, I'm just giving a church a try out. I'm just giving a church a try because why not? Um, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, the way in which God showed up was exceptional. It was insane. It was kind. And I say kind because, um, Okay, let me just show you while I'm here. On Saturday the 15th of June, Rinu and I will be at an event called Meta Loss. Um, and we will be speaking about our friendship and just friendship in general, but more importantly, the importance of godly counsel and um, sisterhood and friendship in Christ 
honing in on the importance of doing this walk with iron essentially with people who god has entrusted in your care but also entrusted you to friends really and why this whole idea of doing life alone is just not what god intended will be speaking so if you can make it please make it it will be such an ins such an amazing amazing event here's my news poster it will be such an amazing event i just know it and it's funny because the time in which it came about let me actually give you guys the backstory so um again we will go into a lot more detail about this on the day but a little sneaky peek for y'all that are watching right now Renu and i went through a period recently where truthfully i was i was looking at our situation and thinking in my carnality i am happy to do the rest of my life without this girl our flesh with mine and hers just did not like one another um offense had crept in and it given birth to distaste and animosity and yeah we just weren't cool got to let her finish speaking it's time to get between the train and the platform yeah so i think i would say all in all we spent a month or so apart um no communication barely any communication just not seeing eye to eye not wanting to be in close proximity in any way shape or form um, and I'm sure she'll testify to this too. We, yeah, we weren't liking one another. And um, there's so much I can say about that in terms of the enemy's um, hand at play. But what I will say is, and it links to this event, um, Nuella, the founder of Metalos, reached out to us on the Monday after we just finished our two week fast. Bear in mind, our fast ended on sunday and she reached out to us on the monday inviting us to this event to speak at this event together as co-laborers that was the entirety of our fast to re to ask the lord to remove every offense every um seed of destruction that he didn't plant help us to renew our minds and see each other in the way he sees us and sees us not only separately but together so all that just to say um it's just funny the timing um, and i bring this all round back to say that we actually met Nuella today at the church we went to funnily enough it wasn't planned we got there and she came up to us and said hi guys i'm Nuella." And it just, it felt in that moment like a, uh-huh, we were here for you. Because I had no business coming to this church this week. Up until the point where Renu mentioned it, I wasn't considering it. But then when she did, I was like, why not? Why not? I'm rooted, I know where my home is, but I have no issue going here. Just to find out that we were on assignment and just meeting Nuella was, ah, uh, in itself. Like, y'all, all I'm going to say is Metalos, 15th of... 15th i was gonna say january 15th of june at i believe 12 p.m be there i'm gonna link their instagram page in the bio and i'm also going to link the tickets like the page for the tickets in the bio just so i can make it easier for you guys to you know get your tickets and whatnot this is an event open to all genders so um there will be the two of us and two men speaking on brotherhood and what that looks like healthy brotherhood in christ and bro bro y'all need this y'all need this because friendship has been such a big thing for me on this walk um and i thank god for how kind he's been ah oh, it's so funny because had Nuella had reached out and it's funny because she said that she actually wanted to reach out two weeks prior had she had reached out two weeks prior and not listened to be arriving at essex road please find the gap between the train and the platform and not listen to the prompting of the holy spirit she probably wouldn't have gotten a response from us because we were not in the space to be speaking to anybody about friendships because we were currently dealing with our own and if she'd reached out any time before then what we would have had to offer might have still helped somebody 
but it wouldn't have been the totality of our relationship because I think we've experienced the fluffy side of sisterhood, the exciting, like, ooh, I have a friend, I have a sister in Christ, you know, besties, and all the good stuff, right? But we hadn't experienced, we hadn't experienced um, pushback, we hadn't experienced contention, we hadn't experienced what it looks like to resolve conflicts, what conflict resolution in Christ looks like. I just can't wait to get to that event and speak about it. What a blessing, what a blessing, what an honor it is to be entrusted with something like that. So if you can make it, please do. Tell a friend to tell a friend, bring another friend, even if they're not your friends, just bring them. <laughs> um, and just come with open hearts. This will probably be it for me. Um, I won't lie to you, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because it's Sunday. Wait, have I, is this a new vlog? Sorry, I've actually lost count. I've lost track of whether this is a new week or if this is the continuation of, a, of last week. I have a lot of editing to do, as you can tell. But um, I've got you guys in mind. But yeah, for the time being, have a wonderful, wonderful week. If I don't get to close it later, which I probably won't, um, yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you left just with something, you know, with something, but more importantly, with a renewed and transformed idea of who Jesus is, you know? Um, I think I'm catching a cold. I need to go and drink some lemsip because this cannot run. Anywho. Bye guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, turn on post notifications, all that stuff. Just share some love. Okay.